Fornish Gaming. Hello and welcome to Fornish Gaming. Yeah, we look, we've got a TV now and I can display the logo thing. So it's Fornish Gaming. Yeah. Um not really much I really don't play games <laughs> that much as much as I, as much as I talk about computers. Um today I I wanted to try to challenge myself a little bit. I wanted to see if I could find the best kind of all-in-one type of gaming computer that I could get from um, HP. And I've kind of set a limit for myself. I'd like to say the maximum that I could spend would be $1,000. So I'm going to see, I'm going to, I'm going to, just kind of browse through to see what all I can find for a thousand dollars or less, and I'd like to find the best possible deals. And I also have Amazon pulled up as kind of like a quick price reference for certain, um, for a couple of the different components of each computer that I look at. So let's let's jump straight into gaming. Or maybe desktops. Can I do something? No, okay. So gaming it is. We'll just go to the gaming section. Um, HP recommends. We'll do probably highest price. Because a computer would probably be more expensive than the keyboards and stuff that they have on here. Um, if I had to assume. So let's let's go ahead and scroll down. 1600 1200 we're getting closer 1230 1050 that's just a little bit out of our budget and that's a little unfortunate so here another 1050 so this one here is right at a thousand dollars let's see amd ryzen 5 5 Wait a minute. 16 gigs. I'm going to just... Okay, 16.1 inch, Windows 11 Home, Ryzen 5. Let's check all these specs really quick. So, see see more specs. Ryzen 5, 6600H, 6 cores, 12 threads. Uh, integrated graphics and an RTX 3050 graphics card with 4... Gigabytes of DDR6 dedicated. Let's see. 144 hertz, 7 millisecond response time, IPS screen. So that's that's pretty nice. 300 nits worth of display brightness. Let's see. Finger, no, no finger. That's not available. All right. We have 16 gigabytes of DDR5. RAM, okay, so that's two 8 gig sticks, so that's not bad, 512 gigabytes M.2 SSD, let's see, 200 watt smart AC adapter, let's see, what else, up to nine hours worth of battery life. If you're if you're going to be gaming on this thing, you better have it plugged into the wall. That's probably the best advice I could give. Um, if you're gaming on a laptop, please plug it up. That battery will be dead before you know it. Um, let's see. Two supercharged USB C tight ten gigabit per second. Um, one one type a five gigabit per second two super speed usb type a five gigabit per second and it should be hdmi 2.1 um okay sd media card reader nice ep silver registered uh, it's got a 720p hd camera with temporal noise reduction and integrated dual array digital microphones Sounds nice. I'm not sure what kind of FPS that you're looking at with that kind of um, integrated camera, but if I if it's anything like the one on my laptop, it's 
not the best, but it could definitely prob it would get you by if you needed something. Um, audio by Bang and Olufsen. Okay. AMD FreeSync. Ah, that doesn't. The FreeSync would help with the integrated graphics, but not necessarily the graphics card itself, because FreeSync is for is not for NVIDIA products. It's for AMD products. So it worked great with the integrated graphics, but not with the graphics card. Alrighty, let's see. Thermal sensor. Um, image pad. Four zone RGB backlit keyboard, anti ghosting key technology. Okay, one year limited warranty on stuff. You have McAfee, I guess. I would just, I would just uninstall McAfee. That is not. That's not really worth it. That's that's just bloatware that slows your computer down. Just get rid of it. Okay, so. All in all, this doesn't look like a bad computer. You know, I've I've been a little harsh in the past about judging these computers. So I'm trying to be a little more realistic, especially with the goals and stuff and, and the limits that I have given myself. So the big question I have now is why is this computer cheaper than this computer? Uh, Omen versus Victus, but this one has a Ryzen 7. Let's see. You know what? Let's just check out the specs. See more specs. Ryzen 7 6800H, so 8 core, 16 threads, integrated AMD graphics, ooh, and an RTX 3050 Ti, so a little bit better graphics card. You still got that 144 hertz, 7 millisecond response time, 300 nits. You're still getting DDR5 graph, uh, DDR5 RAM. That's that's pretty impressive. You're still getting that 512 M.2 SSD. That's same 200 watt power supply adapter, up to nine hours worth of screen time. I would plug it up to game. Let's see. You're still getting SD card reader. Um, Let's see, this is looking pretty similar, except I don't think it has a 10 gigabit per second. So that that's one difference there. Uh, silver registered. The same kind of camera, but it doesn't have the a noise reduction in it. Audio by B&O. Dual speakers, HP Audio Boost. So that's a little bit different than the other one. So the audio might not be quite as good. You're still getting AMD FreeSync, which is good for the integrated graphics, which is AMD, but not the um, NVIDIA RTX 3050 Ti. That needs um, G-Sync to work, like to, to make it to where it's like, almost flawless with the computer the like less choppiness less um distortion as you play a game or whatever um let's see hp image pad full size backlit keyboard so that i mean it looks a little bit different i can't remember what the other one said but it is a backlit keyboard uh one year warranty with all that stuff and then make a fee i guess <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't do make a fee. I'd just install it like I said before. So that one is a let's see. I hate that I always have to go back and look at it this way. So between these two computers, I would probably lean a little bit more towards the Victus because the internal specs are actually better than what you get in the Omen. Now, the Omen might have, like, a better cooling or a better, let's see. Yeah, it looks like it might have a little bit more ventilation there for cooling. Ver oh, no, that's just, so that's cooling there. And then uh, two ports. 
maybe. Let's see. So I guess it might it might cool the computer a little bit better than this one. But I mean a good a good twenty dollar cooling pad will f remedy that like instantly. Or at least enough so to where you won't thermal throttle, or you shouldn't thermal throttle. So this one, the, okay. So far, this laptop's in the lead. Uh, this one here, the Victus by HP laptop. It's a nice on-the-go kind of gaming solution. I mean, if if I had a thousand-dollar budget. Between these two, I would definitely pick the Victus so far. And that's that's just laptop. We haven't even got to the desktops yet. So we we might... Okay. We are already... <laughs> we are already going to be changing our mind. Let's take a look at this. A Victus by HP 15L desktop windows 11 home amd ryzen 7 16 gigabytes ram 512 gigabyte ssd a one terabyte hard drive and a radeon 6600 xt the 6600 xt is pretty similar to it's like somewhere in between an rtx 3060 and an rtx 3060 ti it's kind of ballparking right there in that range and, um, let's see. Okay, specs. Alright, so you're getting the two 5 gigabit USB type. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Type A. Um, two 10 gigabit, and then one USB C 5 gigabit. And then in the back, you get four USB type. 2.0 type A ports. So that's not bad. You get the Omen Gaming Hub where you can intelligent overclocking, performance control, indiv individual fan control, system vitals, network booster, lighting control, my games, gallery, remote play, and coaching. So even though it's not technically, it's not HP Omen, was it? It is a Victus. Yeah, it's a Victus. So it looks like you still have access to the software. Let's see. See more specs. Okay, that's not... A, okay, this is what I was looking for. Okay, so with this, you are getting... Let's see, how much was this again? This is a... $900 computer. It's $450 off. So for $900, bucks, let us see what we're getting. We're getting a Ryzen 7 5700G. It's an 8-core 16-thread processor. Um, now, it's not as good. It's not quite on par with a 5700X or 5800X. But this is a very solid processor, and it has integrated graphics. In case you didn't have a graphics card, this would be something that you could play on until you got a graphics card. But since this system has a graphics card, um, I can't... I know the uh, 5700G, that's close to about $200, I think. Alrighty here, so this is the Ryzen 7... 5700G CPU and here's a hey here's a thousand dollar computer it's pretty I mean after tax it would probably be more than a thousand dollars this is like nine, $999.99 this is as close to a thousand dollars as you can get without being a thousand dollars Okay, so this this here is the Ryzen 7. So it's about 180-ish dollars. It's on sale. That's actually that's actually a bit on sale. That looks nice. That looks like a nice price. And does it include Does it include a cooler? And it includes a cooler. Okay. So we're already at $180 on the table integrated graphics 
a RX 6600 XT. So that will be next that we're going to look up. As an RX 6600 XT. And this is actually the 8 gigabyte version. So that's what we're going to be looking at. So here's uh, 8 gigabyte, $334. 457, that's ROG Strix by ASUS. Power Cooler 350. MSI is about 400. So it looks like Power Cooler 6600. Uh, 6600, 300, 6650 XT, X, XFX. So the prices of these things are a little all over the place. So I'm going to go, f I'm going to kind of, I don't know. It's, it's kind of close. I'll give it to about, oh, that's renewed. I'll probably give it about $400. So you're, so we're looking at almost $200 and almost $400. So that's, that's 600 bucks right there. Six hundred dollars, and we're at nine hundred dollars. Okay, so six hundred out of nine hundred. So that's we're three hundred dollars left. So let's see. Let's go up here. Sixteen gigabyte DDR four RAM. So we're probably looking at a good. $40 for RAM. So that's $40 for RAM. Probably about $50 for storage and another $50 for that sort. So $100. So $600, $700, about $750. So we're already at $750 out of this budget. $750. Let's go up here to power supply, 500 watt, 80, I think it was bronze, wasn't it? And 80 bronze. So we're looking at about $50. So let's see, 600, 750. About another fifty, eight hundred dollars right there. So we are just one hundred dollars off from the actual price of the machine itself. Okay, so if you want to just include Windows, that's it. That's another hundred dollars. We had this. You're basically paying for every component in this computer, and not anything extra really um let's see one year limited warranty and one month trial of something you should probably uninstall uh which is mcafee so here oh and you get a keyboard and mouse so right out of the box you have everything you need except for a monitor or t or, or a tv like this one with the logo Ain't that cool? I had to do a lot of settings to try to get that to look halfway decent on this camera. <laughs> but anyways, um, so this is actually, for the price, you are literally paying for every component in this computer and nothing extra. Based, based off of the prices of Amazon. So this is, this is a pretty solid computer for the price um for my thousand ish dollar budget all right let's let's go back here let's double check to see if there's anything else that you could potentially buy for that thousand dollars or save money for so okay so that was the eight hundred and ninety nine dollar and ninety nine cent computer uh, this one here is fifty dollars less. Um, you're getting an i5 
12th gen i5 CPU with this computer. Um, you are getting an RTX 3050. Let's see. Let's let's go ahead and let's click on it. Let's see what all it comes with. Uh, you can do alternative options. You can go all the way up to a 3080. Let's do the customize and buy option. Let's see what's going on. So for $850, you're getting only one stick of RAM and only 256 gigabytes of storage. Um, I'll probably go ahead and pass on this Omen computer. It's uh, The components in it aren't quite as up to snuff or up to par as the $899 Victus computer. Um, I know you probably have more of an upgrade path with the Omen, but we're kind of looking for just opening the box and just playing with what you got. So far, the this $899 Victus right here is the closest thing so far. So far. Um, let's see, Ryzen 5 5600... RTX 3050. This is kind of looking the same as the other one, except you have Ryzen instead of Intel. Yeah, you still only have the one stick of RAM. I just, I don't feel like that's a... I, personally, I would still choose the Victus. If worse come to absolute worst, and something happened to like your motherboard or whatever, or if you were ready to upgrade this computer, um, the two big things you would do is you would get you would you would have to get you would probably have to get a new motherboard and a new computer case. So that will probably set you back a little bit before you could ever really do any upgrades. But it's out of the box playable right now and it comes with a keyboard and mouse so that's that's two big two big things in my books like you can literally play a game like plug it up to a computer monitor or a tv and you're ready to go i mean it's probably not the best stuff but it's something something is better than nothing let's see Another laptop. I'm kind of leaning away from the laptops now. Um, let's see. Because this this little Victus is not a bad deal. Okay. So it looks like... So this looks like our last kind of option here. And this one can go up to a 3060 Ti. So this one... This computer here is customizable. Um, let's just customize and buy. So, for the $630 price tag, you're getting a Ryzen 5 5600G, uh, 6 core, 12 thread. You're getting two 4 gigabyte sticks of RAM. I mean, I guess it, it's in dual channel, but I'd like to see 16 gigs of RAM in this. If, if possible, um, 256 gigabyte SSD, you're no hard drive, you're getting RX 6400, that's um, a little bit closer to a GTX 1650 in graphics, you're ballparking it there somewhere, a 500 watt 80 plus bronze power supply, and that's, and no keyboard, Okay, let's see. Let's see what we can do. So you can get it in silver or white. Windows Home. Okay, so you can upgrade to the Ryzen 7 5700G for $150 more. Huh, so... Ryzen... 5, 5600G 
It would probably be helpful if I typed it in correctly. <laughs> Another way to buy. 4600G, 50. Pretty sure I, it was 5600G, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ryzen 5 5600G, and this is $110. $110. And this processor by itself is 180 so that was 180 bucks so for 30 more dollars you could just buy one versus this 150 dollar upgrade um we'll probably go ahead and spend that 70 dollars and get two sticks of ram versus the the two of four uh, 16 gigabytes right now is kind of like the um, the best for modern gaming. Let's see. So we're up to $700 now on our budget. You can't see it because my face is in the way. Uh, we're at $699.99. HP, two-year warranty, uh, three-year. That's an extra $150, $160. HP Smart Friend Service seventy dollars. Smart Friends one year one hundred twenty dollars. I don't even know what that stuff is. Um, okay, so we're okay. So right here we're looking at storage a two hundred fifty six gigabyte M dot two. Or you can upgrade to a 512 for 70 more dollars. I'm just going to click the 500 for now. Because 256 is not really a lot for gaming. Especially when games are like... Duh, like they're really getting up there with the storage. And how much storage that they really take. So we're... We're going to try for the 500 and see where we're at. Um, you know, we could we could do this. We could get this one terabyte hard drive with it. So we're at, currently at $830. So we might make a few adjustments here. Um, okay, so... An RX 6500XT... RTX 3050. So to get an RTX 3060, we would have to do that. Man, that is that's a lot of money. Let's let's see where an RX 6500 XT puts us. RX 6500 XT. It's not very. Let's see. I th like to say that it's kind of comparable to an RTX 3050, but I could also be dead wrong. I'm not entirely sure on that one. But to to get that 3060 for gaming. We're already over our budget our budget at a thousand and eighty eight dollars and ninety nine cent. So okay, so to be able to keep that thirty sixty we can we'll have to drop back on our M dot two back to two hundred and fifty six and we can take off the hard drive. And that would put us at $959.99. Uh, this, um, I feel like this is Realtek Y56 2x2 supporting gigabit data rate. And Bluetooth 5. 
Bluetooth 5.2. That's just ten more dollars. Nine hundred sixty-nine dollars and ninety-nine cent. Uh, let's see, Microsoft Office personal productivity software. We wouldn't need any of that. Make a fee. Eh. Okay, so for fourteen dollars, we can get a mouse and keyboard. So nine hundred eighty-three dollars and ninety-nine cent. Um, do I think that this is a good setup? I don't. I don't believe it would be. It's not like you could play it out of the box as is, but you wouldn't have enough storage on your computer to have a lot of games. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember what the other one looked like for $900. It would probably help if I put the filter back on, because I, or the the sort by highest price. Let's see. Let's scroll down. There it is. Eight hundred ninety nine dollars. Okay, so the not the eight hundred ninety nine dollar one. This one here. In, I'm assuming white. I don't think you can change the color. But I believe this is going to be our winner for our $1,000 HP Gaming Computer Budget Challenge thing. Like, out of the box, ready to go, ready to play, computer. This this Victus, Victus by HP 15L Gaming Desktop Windows 11 Home. AMD Ryzen 7, 16 gigabytes RAM, 512 gigabytes SSD, one terabyte hard drive, and an AMD Radeon 6600 XT. This, for the thousand dollar HP gaming challenge, this is it. This computer right here, you this this is just it. This one here is the best that you can get for that challenge. And it would probably, let's see, see how much it would be after tax. Let's not go to cart. So, plus tax. I mean, you are, you are saving a lot of money. Saved $450 on your order, supposedly. But that's not bad. So, for, you can even get free standard shipping with it. I don't know how much the tax is, though. Check out as guest. Taxes to be determined. Okay. I don't believe the tax would be enough to put it over a thousand dollars, but if you just had a thousand dollars, I think you would be good. This is a pretty solid computer. It comes with a mouse and keyboard. All you have to do is just plug it up and play. Alrighty. Well, um, thank you all so much for watching this kind of different episode of Forgnish Gaming. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did, because this is, I, like I said before, I feel like I was being a little bit of a Debbie Downer, and and I just wanted to do something a little different, something to be a little more productive, and I, I believe that these, I believe little challenges like this could be great, or trying to help, if you're looking for like specific brands, or within a certain budget, I feel like that would be pretty good. Um, but this computer right here for $900 and all this highlighted stuff that magically appears, um, that's it. 
that beats the challenge. Um, thank you all so much for watching this episode. Uh, please, please hit that hit that thumbs up. Um, subscribe down below, and if you could ring the bell for notifications, so that way you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest of Forgnish Gaming. Um, but anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video. We'll 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 see you next time. Yeah.